So Abdul Moiz, I did not see you yesterday. I think you are joining twice, Abdul Moiz. Even today, I'll be leaving the God, God will help me. I joined twice. Uh, no, just once there, yeah. Abdul Moiz. Yeah. Clement, also. I think Clement told me already, yeah. It's okay, let's start recording. You are welcome to today's class. Yesterday, we started introducing ourselves to what? To, we continued with pivot tables yesterday. I showed you some different techniques in pivot table. And um, we started introducing ourselves to how to create a, how to create a dashboard in Excel. And I was telling us some dashboard principles, some dashboard principles. Can someone tell me one that is very fundamental? Anybody? Hello, guys. Can I have someone to tell me one of the techniques, one principle that is very fundamental that you need to take note when you create dashboard in Excel or in any tool, basically. I don't know. I don't know if it is technique, but hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I don't know if it's a technique, but um, one of the things you said yesterday is that the dashboard should be able to pass information at first glance. I don't know. I don't really know. No, it should it should be able to okay that's correct but um you didn't you didn't hit, you didn't hit the nail on the bar but it's past information at first hello, sir. yeah that's okay but tell me more hello sir yeah you made mention yesterday that a dashboard is a single screen yeah it must be a single screen that is very important and it is okay, give someone some else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of people can it. Someone else. Hello, sir. Someone, can you, can I have somebody else to tell me something about dashboard? What are? It must be. It must be easy for users to analyze the information on the dashboard. Okay, okay, that is something. It's easy for users to analyze information on the dashboard. Okay, not bad. Highly, highly. But charts and tables are appear on dashboard. Are users going to be analyzing information on your dashboard? Ask yourself. Do they analyze? I mean, this dashboard should be very interactive. It must be able to tell a story to the users. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you, um, um, Zainab. Your dashboard must be able to tell a story. Instantly when you are seeing it, it must pass a message. It's very important. Your dashboard must be able to tell a story. So um, that's about dashboard. So we started talking about some components if dashboard and what it should have. So, and I created something like a plan. So basically you are going to be doing this on paper. You are going to be doing it on your whiteboard. You must just have something like this, which is like a plan of what you want to do, an arrangement. You should take note that your arrangement can change. It's an iteration. For example, I can decide to have it like this, to bring these guys here and shift everything like this. You understand? It's an arrangement. So it can change. You just look at, you do it first, then you begin to improve on it. Like, okay, oh, no, 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 I don't think it's going to make sense like this. Okay, it's going to make sense like this. Okay, okay, okay. It's not going to make sense like this. You understand? It's not something you do one of. You do it so although you might have an experience and you just do it instantly, but it can always get better. And it's also good when you do want to do it. If you are working for a client, you show him or her that okay, eventually, this is the kind of structure 
this is where we are going because it won't be nice. You have now finished design. Somebody is not telling you that. Uh, uh, why? Why is this one not here? Is that going to be nice? Is that going to be nice? No, it's not going to be nice. So basically, we have it in data analysis, in visualization. We have it in. I mean, whatever you do, you have you need to have a plan, and that is what this is for. So you can have some key KPIs over here to like buttons that is going to tell you some key information on top. So, and based on this plan, we started creating something like this yesterday. Right, guys, are we together? Did we try to check out what we did yesterday? Are we lost anywhere? Before I start to this class, are we lost anywhere? So that I know what question to... Yeah. Okay, there's this background music that is quite distracting. Beg your pardon? Is it for my end? No. Okay, yeah. I'm end. trying to mute all, but the person keeps on muting. What about now? Much better. Yeah. So now. Yeah, I'm I'm muting all then. It comes up again. I mut all. I'm sorry, guys. So I think everything looks good now. Yeah, thanks for yeah. that. So we saw this already. And one thing is that I was, as I as we were doing it yesterday, we mentioned that line chart is used for trend, bar chart and column chart. I made a distinction between both of them when you use them, when you don't use them. Okay. So, and I also mentioned that when you use bar chart, you don't make everything scatter. You, what I mean is your bars, they should not just be anyhow. Like, there should be, it should be sorted. So that whoever is seeing it can easily know that this guy is the highest, then comes this guy, then comes this guy, then comes this guy. You understand? You put an order to whatever you are doing. Is that okay, guys? So, and that is why we have this arrangement. So it's very easy to see that, okay, this guy is number one and number two, number three, number four, number five. And life is good, everybody is happy. So we continue with what we were doing. And I come back to this, my pivot table that I have over here. We have top five states. I thought I created bottom five yesterday. Where are you? Yeah, yeah this bottom five. We do auto F1. And uh, what do we do again? We want to use almost the same chart, right, guys? Except that the information on it is going to be different. So we need to format it again. We remove field buttons on chart. We call this guy total. We call it what? Bottom five sales by what? Sales by states. And we don't really need this total because we don't have any other information on this graph. We change this guy to, we change the chart type, we come to design, change chart type. We just change it to a bar chart. Everything looks good. Then we need to sort it. We come to our pivot table to sort. You just come over here and you click on sort, smallest to largest, and everything looks good. We now do what next? You can see this guy. I said there is a principle. You make your the width of the bar must be greater than the space between it. Are we together, guys? So in that case, I'm going to have I'm going to click on the bar and I'm going to come to format data series. And I do what next? I come to format data series and I have gap width. I just reduce the gap width until I have something comfortable. So so it's a little bit better now. I can put 45. OK, so everything looks good now. We can remove the states. It's doing nothing. We hide it. You can see now we are basically creating more space. Then we need to tell it axis titles. What are they? This guy is going to be state. And this guy is going to be sales. 
is that okay guys so everything is looking better now so basically the rule of thumb is that excel will never show you what is very good at first no no way you have to learn how to modify and we copy this out and we bring it to where a dashboard but guys we want to make things better and look good for our audience so what do we do in that case what do we do in that case can you see these two guys what i can do to make life better for them is we can see we need to use color in a very good way this top five states and bottom five states we can see top five states and bottom five states okay i'm coming back to there what i'm saying is can you see now we have the same color basically in your in your whatever you want to do don't use too much color i don't think you really need more than three colors most of the time theory colors you are already going over but sometimes you can even do black and white or true it has a design you can have three colors but when you want to change colors or use colors it depends on the story you want to tell your story really matters in this case what i'm going to do is can you see top and bottom there is a story behind that in that case it's not good to use the same color you want anybody seeing it to quickly know that okay these two guys are different so what I'm going to do is for this blue, I'm going to just right click and format data series. I come to this guy and I'm going to change this color to what? Something else, something that shows that, okay, I'm, I think I clicked on the wrong thing, format fill. I want to change my fill color. Why is just only one changing? Let me just do it again, guys. We just select, we make sure everything is selected. And we right click, click on format data series, we come over here, and we change the color to. Um, okay, let's do it again. Right click. Actually, you can use the shortcuts here. Can you see fill? And we change it. And we can change this to this. Which one should we use, guys? Should we use this very? Can we use this? Or this? So is this okay, guys? Am I the only one here? No, 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 no. Yeah, I used red. The previous one is okay. The previous red. Okay, red is okay. I think that's the color that in Zainos village. That's the color the village people wear in our village. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I even use red because I know we are trying to tell them these are the least yes, yes, yes. sales. And you know, normally red is to show something. You understand uh, that? That's the gist. The yes, hair. that's the gist. So that's just, you just use what people are used to. So if an organization has a standard, you understand you should try and know that is there something they use in this particular organization to signify negative sometimes some organization now but generally when people see red they is like negative most of the time so that is that sometimes let's assume you want what you are doing you are actually it's for emo states you are only working for emo states you want to go and present something to emo state governor you understand what I would do in that case is that your story must be different. What you can do is, it's just an example. It all depends on the story. For this guy that is top five state, I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to change it to gray. And I'm not going to come to just emo alone. I make sure emo alone is selected and I'm going to make it conspicuous. So it means that anybody saying this, that it's, it's, it depends is like, oh, Emo, why is emo alone different? Because it's emo you want to tell. That's what is important to you. I don't know if you understand. You want to go and present something to emo state governor. So let them quickly know. They don't really need to bother about others, but they need to quickly see their own. Is that okay, guys? So in this, two, in this case now, I've communicated two things in a very simple way. Anybody seeing this chat, first of all, we quickly know that, okay, emo is top five states. And is the one we are really trying to highlight that okay is number two. It's very easy to see compared to 
Because the moment they see green, what happens next? They want to know that, oh, which category, which state is green? So others are just like um, Wakapas. You know what Wakapas is? Wakapas, you know when they make movies and the camera rolls, we have some people, they just walk behind the camera. They are not really part of the cast. Guys? We are here, sir. Yeah, so that's Wakapas. Those are Wakapas, like, these people are just walking in the streets and the camera in the movie captured them. They didn't exclude them out of the movie. So in that case, they are wakapas. They are not really the people you are trying to show. But at the end of the day, they need to be there. So you really need to make have something to do to make sure that the guy you are trying to highlight is showing. Nobody is uh, covering the star of that person. Is that okay? Hmm? Is that okay, guys? Yeah. Okay, so we can see now that we've done something. I'm just trying to tell us that when you are trying to, this is techniques you use in storytelling. You can do something like this. It, pass, it passes the story very fast. You understand? Let's assume we have, um, okay. But let's leave that for now. So we've done this, everything looks good. We've done this. Then we come back to our plan. Then we want to identify what, let us talk about purchasing channel. Have we done anything about purchasing channel? No. So we can put purchasing channel somewhere over here. You understand? We can see things changes, but we already know what we want to do. So we come to our pivot table. We have to do what? Create a new pivot table, which is what how to do that. Anybody want to create a new pivot table? Copy we can. We can actually copy and paste or we do odd MV, odd MVT, sales table. Then what do we do next? We have to go to purchasing channel. And then um, we have four items over there. And then um, we have sales. Where is sales? Where are you? So in this case, you can see we have purchasing channel. So like, let us just quickly edit it and call this guy just sales alone, put space in front of it, rollables, we can call it. We, we understand what we mean by purchasing channel now. So in this case, we have this, we can now quickly do something, we can, quickly do alt f1 or we come to design to insert and we are going to see recommended charts we can see that it's recommending something for us but in this case i don't want it i want to use a pie chart for example so people like to use pie chart i don't know why so let us copy this pie chart and i'm going to talk briefly about it Control x and we bring it to our dashboard dashboard over here so the question first question is should we use a pie chart Look at what we have. Remember, you want to make life easy for your audience. Let us try and activate something. We want to activate data legend. And um, what I could have done instead is this. Guys, let us just quickly go back to our pivot table and change it to percent so that it's easy to see. Show value as percent of grand total. Everything looks good. We come back to our dashboard. Can you see now? We have 24, 24, 24, 23, 27. Is a pie chart really a good way to represent this information? Guys, somebody... No, 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 because, because looking at the shapes, self, there, there is no much difference between how big or how small they are. Okay, but if we have used something like a like a, what's it called, chat type, like a bar chat. Let's try and change it to bar chat or column chat. Let's use column chat. Can you see which one is better? You know, with this one now, it's very easy to see that offline says is 
has the highest amount of percentage. Is that not so? Yes, but I have a concern, sir. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah express your concern. Now looking at looking at our dashboard now, you know, we've used um, bar charts like three times now. Is that not looking like repeated um, chat yes. type? There's no problem with that. Nobody's going to query you for repeat, repetition. The yeah. most important thing is you want to make life easy for your audience. You want to make it simple. You want to make it easy to understand. So that is what is most important. So we can do like this. We can leave it like this. I'm just trying to tell us that first of all, a pie chart, a pie chart always run away from pie charts if you can. There are also some play times you can use pie charts. For example, some authors even say that when you don't have more than four categories, that you can use pie charts. But in this particular data that I have over here, can you see that, that I have more than, I have what those authors are saying? Where, where is it? Let me just, can you see now that I have exactly the numbers they are saying? Let me note, it, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. So, um, can you see now that we have four categories and it's, it's still a problem for us to what? To quickly know which is bigger than which. It looks as if they are all the same, which is the problem with what? Pie charts. It's very difficult for our eyes to estimate angles compared to what? Compared to heights. You know heights, even if we have twins, although it's very difficult for me, I have some friends that are twins and um, I really don't know the difference between them. So, but people say that one is taller than the other. So what I'm trying to say is that even if people are twins, people will tell you that one is taller than the other, even if it is by 0.1 inches. But about angles is very difficult. People cannot easily see difference. Some people will tell you that twins that ah, can't you see one, one of them eyes is oblong or over? Another one is triangular. You understand what I'm trying to say? These are the kind of things because angle is difficult to what estimate size. But it depends on the story we want to tell. In this particular case, let's go back to our data. This is our report. We have mobile app, mobile call offline sales and websites. So if I want to tell a story, look at it very, I want to tell a story that, okay, for our organization, if we want to grow, we should try and focus on non-offline, um, what's it called now? Non-offline, um, how to call it now? Non-offline categories like mobile app and uh, websites that, and maybe that a lot of people are really on their mobile they are connected to the internet and they want to close sales. And that, that's what, I, well, so what I'm trying to preach now is that people should focus on what? On mobile app and websites. That is what the organization, if they want to go that, at least 50% of our sales is coming from there, which is very easy to see now. You understand? So in that case, there are two things we can do. Guys, look up. This is a bar chart. This is a pivot table. So we can do something like this. I highlight mobile app, website, and I call it um, internet. Is that okay? I can highlight both of them and I'm going to group it. Oh, that's wrong grouping. Yeah, I think it's correct. Yeah. Can you see now that it gives it group one? You just highlight the item you need. And after it has been highlighted, I can now change the name of that group one to something else. I just double click. And can you see now that we have it in our formula bar? And I can come to formula bar and call it internet. That's the name of the group. We have consolidated those two groups. So we already know that our internet so, sales, our internet sales is now made up of mobile app and websites, which is. So please call me again with the grouping. I didn't understand what you did. Sorry, sir. This is it. You just highlight those items you want to group, basically. You just do mobile app and you hold down your control and websites. And you right click and you click on what? Group. So it's going to group them. So sometimes you just want to group that. You yourself, you know that these guys are in the same category. But you understand, they are brothers and sisters. Then you cannot give your group a name from your formula bar. 
and call it internet. Or are they not internet? Because you need internet for it. So we can now say that mobile app websites offline, this mobile call, okay, let's just leave it. So in this case, we can go back to our dashboard. Uh, I think we need to recreate it. And um, where are you? We can now recreate auto F1, chain chart type, pie chart. What's happening? Just hold on. We want to have just three items. So what I'm going to do, collapse all, collapse. So it has been collapsed, Alt F1. Now it gives me three items. Can you see the difference, guys? If it is expanded, it shows you everything. If it is collapsed, it shows you the categories. Then I come to chart type. I do like this bar. And I do like this. And um, you no, know, it's basically we are trying to tell a story, and I can hide items, hide access field on chart. Yes. And uh, we can bring everything to our dashboard, Control V. So another disadvantage of charts of um, of um, pie charts, why it is not good, even though we are using it in this case, is that it occupies a lot of space. Can you see the amount of space it's occupying, guys? Guys, do you can you see the amount of space it's occupying? What's happening again? I'm, this is not what I want. Pivot table, I've expanded it. Let me just. So it occupies a lot of space, which is not something because when you have a lot of things, let's assume you have a number of things you want to communicate. It takes a whole lot of space, which is not really good. The space it is taking up just for this thing we want to occupy. You can see it's bigger than the space for our top five states. The length, the length and breadth. And then you attempt to reduce it, it reduces the size of the circle. So we can adjust, we can now begin to format it how we want it. And we can call it, is it market share by purchasing channel? Something like this. Then we remove those things we don't want. And um, we, you can say, I don't really like pie charts. Can you see a lot of white space? Which is why it's not really the best charts to use, basically. Guys, can you see this white space? because there's no way you want to increase the circle. Guys, are you with me? Yeah. yeah. So you can see now, no matter what you do, it takes a whole lot of space compared to what? Any other type of pattern. Look at the white space is too much. Meanwhile, this is our chart. And there is no way you could have want to increase, any attempt to increase the, the size of the bars. What it causes is that it causes it to, uh, how, to call, how to say it. It's basically, there's no way you want to increase it. Um, how to the length and breadth must increase by the same value. Meanwhile, the length and breadth of your, of your, of what this guy is not the same. So, I mean, so, but you can leave it for now and we just activate our data legend and bring it outside center outside and data legend and you change the location to outside more options I think there are more options. Uh, where is it? Data legend. We can bring it outside and yeah, okay. 
and um, we have um, these internets, these legends. So you can also change the location. We have right top bottom. I think we have more options for it too. And um, so basically, that is that about that. So basically, we can quickly see that okay, the story we want to turn on is that internet sales has 50%, it takes up to 50%. So any organization that wants to grow should what? Focus, should focus on those people that are bringing 50% of their share. Is that not so? So it's very important. You need to know your market share. That's what the story this guy is about. So we need to take note about that. Then we come to, we've done this. We now want to know which customers are bringing Maybe you want to reward our customers. Do you understand what I mean by reward? We want to give them reward. Like, okay, you guys have been doing fair, fine for us. You're always coming to patronize us. You have spent the highest amount of money with us. So we want to do what? We want to have what? We want to know which customers. So to answer that question, we create a new private table. And in this case, we are going to have our customers. Where is customer? We have customer name. We bring it to what? To rows. And how much are they spending? To values? But do we need all customers, guys? No. We only need the top five. Those are the ones we want to reward. Then I'm going to top. I change it to five. And um, everything looks good. I can decide to sort this guy now, smallest to largest. I change this guy to sales. Is that okay, guys? And I call this guy role labels. I change it to what? Customers. Customers. Top five customers. Is that okay, guys? Then we can decide to have it somewhere as design which chart type you don't have a choice you can there is a chart type that is called tree map anyway and we have uh, to hold on i think yeah how did you get the first top five okay how did i get yes, it yes, is yes, this look yes, up yes, look yes, up yes. control z control z control z control z z z so i have this do you know how I got here? Hello? Yes, I'm at this point. I'm here. Okay. So what you need to do is this. You come to your role labels. You click on that drop down. And you come to value filters. Then you come to top 10. The last item there. And you change. You can do bottom two. But we come to 10 and we change it to five. Okay, everything looks good. We change this guy's sum of sales to sales. Do you understand now? Have I answered your question? Let me talk yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thanks. So we make this guy to, to also appear somewhere. You may decide to just do insert immediately. And we want to insert what? A chart. If you know the chart you want to insert, you come to private chart and you select. So basically, we also have some other chart type, which is uh, we have tree map, you have uh, funnel, but it's not, uh, you have funnel. You have, um, uh, you have, um, let's just use column chart. And then um, what do we do? We sort it. I think I forgot to do that. We sort it smallest to largest. So sort, we want to see the first guy here. And then what do we do? We remove some things we don't want. Data labels, where are you? Legend, I don't want you. And um, what again? 
what again, what again? I okay, this total we call it top five customers. Then you create more space. You remove these buttons, you don't want it. And um, we show our axis, axis title. And there's something again, you don't overpopulate your chart. So what do I mean, what I mean, what do I mean by overpopulate? You don't add information that is already existing on your chart. So in this case, we have axis. Uh, Axis, Y axis, right? Let me remove this guy first. We have 3,000, 2,000. So some people are going to come to data levels again, and they are going to add the exact data. So what you should do is this, you pick one. What do you want? You can either have data labels. This is double information. Are we together, guys? We don't do like this. You can either pick one, is it that you leave your chats? Um, where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Your axis. You can uncheck axis. You just uncheck y axis, primary vertical. So we can decide to have something like this. Is that okay, guys? Or oh, and put these labels there. So this is one alternative. Are we together, guys? So we are, we, this is one alternative that we can do. So I'm going to leave it like this for demonstration purpose. So we don't, um, you don't overpopulate your chart. Then we have um, axis titles and then we own our primary horizontal and we call it what? Customers, customer names, And um, these figures too, anyway, we may just leave it as it is. And then we want to reduce the gap between them. We know the rule already. And then we come over here, we change it to around 50% or so. I think so though, it's too much then. Okay, someone is. Then we have um, 60. We just experiment till it looks good. Okay. So guys, are we together now? Is this better than what we have as a start? So we can now decide to bring it over here. Then let me try and move us. I'm sorry, guys, for the background noise from someone. Thank you, thank you. Guys, are we together now? Is it making sense or not? Please, sir, what percent did you use again? Just experiment with it. I use, um, I forgot to know. <laughs> I use 80%. Okay. It depends. It's not, there's no root to it, though. Mm. Uh, so you just, um, there's no root to it. And um, I, you can see now my screen is actually on 100%. You can check the size of your screen. I encourage us to put our screen on 100%, basically. Anytime we are working on 100%. When you put it something low and you put chat, you think that you have a big space. You don't have big space. By the time you send it out, to someone, then the person put it on 100%, then it's not, it doesn't occupy a screen again. You understand? But when we work, I might decide to increase it when I'm working to see better. You understand? But eventually, make sure that everything you want to do is occupying a screen at 100%, excuse me, at 100% um, size. Then we have 2014, 2015, 
So what we've not done, what I've not done since, I think is a mistake from my end, is that all this thing, we've not connected it to this slicer. You can see now that all the other pi pivot tables are not connected to these slicers. It's only this line chart is con that is connected. But what we want to do is that we want to see everything by quarter and by what? And by, um, by year. So I can click on 2014, everything I have here changes. I click on 2015, everything I have here changes. So what I'm going to do is this. We, I think we named this guy already, right? We named this guy already. We named this guy already. This guy, we name it to purchasing channel. Then this guy, we call it top five. I think we all know why we are naming. Do we all know it? So we can connect to the slicer. By the time we want to connect it. Okay, so are we guys together? So so that we can be able to connect it. So another thing we need to do is that we want to put our um quarter. We've not have quarter slicer. So I'm going to we don't know what to mean by quarter slicer, then I'm going to do like this: add a slicer. I remove those ones I don't need. This less than or equals to hide items with no data. Everything looks good. We are happy. Control X. I cut it. I bring it over here. It seems it doesn't want to show. Who is holding it? Um, Control Z. Control Z. Control X. I'm trying to copy my slicer. Who is Odini? Tasma, are you the one? But we already have slicer of here now. Yes, we need the one for quarter. OK. Uh, what's happening? Asma, where is Asma? Is she still here? Asma. Are you the one holding my slicer somewhere else? Need to. I'm going to have it again. Let me do it. Control Z. Let me just repeat it again. Slicer. We can see now. That is the purpose of life class. D, you must, uh, when we work, we may face challenges sometimes. We must know how to fix them. So this is the slicer, quarter one, because you can see what we have. So there is no purpose of all this space in front. It doesn't have any usefulness. So I think it's OK like this. OK, now I have it. That's one, one. So you can see the alignments we are trying to do now so that everything aligns together. You can see basically it's not something you just do once and you stop doing. You can see now, I can see now that, okay, we, I now have more space, which means that everything I'll be doing, I also need to what, adjust. Is that okay? I remove this guy, slicer settings, hide items with no data. Temi Tokpa, are you still here? Clement, are you with me? Olumuiwa? Are you with me, engineer? Yes. Engineers in the house, are you with me? We know ourselves. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I am. Engineers, are you with me? Accountant, are you with me? Ibrahim Abdurrahman, are you with me? Is he here? Yes, I'm with you. Uh, okay, that's Ibrahim Rahman. What of Abdurrahman and the bio? Are you here? I have an observation. Okay, please shoot. These are top five bottom bottom five top five customer. Is it not good the the chart has the same sizes? Like the okay. way we okay. You mean the top five customers should have the same size as top five states? No, I'm just talking of the name, the Adamawa. Is it line chat or who call it up? Pie chat. 
I'm saying the their wheat or is it which of them? How do you call it? Which the of three them? of them? Since we are using the same type of chart, should they be having different wheat? Like the if you look at this top five customer, it's bigger than they are this the is bigger than all this top five and the other one. Yeah, there's basically no issue. The thing is, you want to if you decide to have it like this, it's not totally bad, but it's not there is really no issue about size. The fundamental thing about size is ask yourself, is it easy to see? Is it does it not confuse my clients? Because the issue with and that is although we do not talk about formatting, I really want to do formatting. I'm going, what I'm going to do is just hold on for me. Well, if I decide to do like this, what happens now is that can you see now that the numbers I put on top is occupying more space than the width, which is not really nice. And the names are also, so that's just what we have. So you just want to make life easy. But the thing is, there is always no disadvantage to a very big chart. It all depends on the amount of chart, but there can be a problem with two small charts. And also you want to make things to be aligned. Those are just what is important. You understand? So, but if you decide to use a design technique that, that um, what's it called? A design technique that gives all your chart the same size. Then in that sense, it's your choice. You have to work with it. You have to still make life easy for whoever is, is using it. Easy to understand and comprehend and simple those conditions must be fulfilled. Uh, is that okay, guys? Those conditions must be fulfilled. But I did not talk about um, what maybe what I'm going to do now. Let me show you something. I really want to talk about formats. And I am looking for a perfect example. So what I'm going to do is, um, mm, what can I do? I want to do something, but I want to bring it home. So let's create a calculated field. Is that okay, guys? Let's quickly create a calculated field. I just want to use it to, let's create a calculate. We all know what we mean by calculated field, right? And we are going to say that calculated field, we are going to say that it's just an hypothesis. It doesn't happen in real life. We are going to say that the salary of, is this salary? No, customers reward, you understand? The reward of these customers is going to be multiplied by the total number of sales. We are going to multiply 1,000 by the total number of sales. That's what we want to use to reward them. We know it doesn't happen in real life. Is that not so? Does it happen? So we create and we insert. We click on OK. I have where I'm going. Then we can see now that we have reward. So I want to use it to bring home a point. Then we have reward. Where is reward? Yeah. Okay. Not a certain put space. Okay. So you can see this reward now. It's very difficult to read whether I have 2.5 billion, 1.9 billion, or 2.5 million. Is that not so? I'm sorry to draw us back, please. I attended to something. Please, I'm sorry. I went to the toilet. How did you get the reward? Ah, I'm Please. not going to go back, Zainal. I'm sorry. We just did the calculated fee, that's all. So we have our reward. I'm not going to go back, sorry. We just use the calculated fee. We multiply it by 1,000 by sales. So as I was saying, we now have this reward. The, the point I really want to drive home, we already know how to clear calculated fee from yesterday class. So what I'm saying now is we are going to, what's it called? We want to format it in such a way that you want to write 2.5 billion. Is this billion we can't really say? Is it million we can't really say? So we know basic formatting before. When we do control one, we come to number and we can add a comma separator. That is a basic um, format. We can remove the decimal place. Can you see now that it is 25 million? Is that not so? 25.0 million, 19.0 million. We need to apply it to this last guy too. And uh, we are the comma separator. So guys, do we understand what I am showing us? Yes or no? 
Yes, yes. Do we understand? Please, if you are lost, let me know. Am I, am I, we are lost. Please let me know. Please, please, please say something. Because I really want to do something next. So this is not only way you can make life easy. What, we, what accountants do sometimes, not only accountants, any kind of work you do. Even when you see architectural diagrams, engineers, they use it a lot. They can just say that each unit represents one million and this guy is going to be 25. And this one, they just put 19. Or they can put 25.04. And this one is 19 points. When you check financial statements, for example, or is it financial statements? Yeah. This, that, this PNL or what do they call it? PNL, yeah. You see that they just put one point, one point. You think that is it one point something like that Dangote is making a year? No. The amounts can be in billions or what? Or trillion. But the fact is they've done that computation in Excel. Is that okay? So you are going to see something like this. So how do we automate it such a way that this is what you are going to be seeing. It's going to be 25.04 million. You can decide to put M in front if you would like. You understand? So you are not, but you are going to be seeing something like this. But in the actual sense, what you have in the background is what? Is the actual number. That is what I want to show us. Are we good to go? Guys, are we good to go? Guys, are we good yes. to go? Yes. Do you have something on your own data you can use to experiment? Do you have something uh, that, okay. like, do you have something like reward also? Yeah, I mean, I've been able to um, get my reward. Okay. That's what you mean. Yeah. How many of us are having challenge with reward column? Reward field. How many of us now? Everybody is good. I'm the only one, I guess. Okay, so let me quickly go over it. it this is design of, you know it though. You have just forgotten, don't mind me. So we just come to feed items and sets under pivot table analyze. And you click on calculated field. You are going to type reward over here. It doesn't happen in real life, but it's an hypothesis. We just do 1000 multiplied by, we find sales over here and you insert it. You understand? You insert that sales and then you click on add. Then you have it automatically. Is that okay, Zainab? Thank you, thank you, yes. Yeah, so we have this. Now, how do we do this format? Remember, I told us that format is like a makeup. Abi now. So we want to apply makeup now. So what I want to teach us is actually custom formatting. Custom formatting. It's custom formatting. So in custom formatting, In custom formatting, are we good to go, guys? How do we do custom formatting? We, we select ourselves we want to apply custom formatting on, and we do control one, the same way we know. We now come to custom, the last item over there. So it's not difficult. What we are going to have is that in custom formatting, each comma represents a thousand, each comma that you have. A comma, I don't know how to, a comma represents a thousand. So just take note of that for now. A comma represents a thousand. And if I have 0 0.00, it's good. It means that I want to have two decimal places. If I decide, if I have um, 0 0.000, it means my result is going to be what? In decimal, in three decimal places. If I decide to put something like red, it means that the color of my result is going to be in red. So we have it sometimes, um, but I'm not interested in this. And ash represent number, the actual number. Is that okay, guys? Is that ash? Yes, that's ash. So can I continue? So we come to custom. 
over here. Are we all in custom, guys? Guys, are we all in custom? Can you see now that I have general 0, 0.00? So I just come to where I have this type and I edit it. I just come to edit. I want to change it. I want to type something for myself. Can I continue? Can I continue, yeah. guys? Yeah. So if I decide to put, remember you have a sample. Do you have a sample on top? Like 2504, do you have a sample on top of your work? You should be seeing a sample over here. Can you see it, guys? Guys, can you see sample? Nobody's answering me. Can we see sample? Ladies and gentlemen, can we see, see sample? It. I see it. Yeah, thank you. So that is where it what you look at to check what you are doing. Remember, I said a, a comma represents a what? A thousand. If you decide to do hash and you just put 0 0.00, can you see that your sample has two decimal place now? Do you see that? So your sample will have two yes, decimal places. Yes. If I decide to remove the decimal place, I don't want it for now. If I decide to just do comma, what happens to your sample? It has reduced it to, it has jarred 1,000 away from it. I don't know how to put that. It has um, truncated the last three digits. That's 1,000. If I decide to put another zero, what happens? It truncates it again. Is that OK? And I cannot decide to put 0 0.00. It has not turned into what? Two decimal places. If I just leave it as two decimal places, 0 0.00. Is that OK? Is that OK? Yes. So this format now is for what? Million. Which means that our result is not going to be showing as a million. Which means that any value you are seeing is going to be million. So if I want to put M in front of it, I can just put M. I think it's going to be capital M. Am I? Is that so? Is the app the right million now? In short, is it M or MN? I think it's M. And I M click on M M M Can you see now that we have 25.04 million? But in the actual sense, when you click on that cell, what do you see in the background in your formula bar? I can see the actual number. But, yeah, but what you are saying in your Excel spreadsheet now is what? It's 25.0, but it does not mean that is what is there. Because technically in Excel, there is no way you want to it's add a customated this. one. Yes. Huh? I like that, your English. Is that Oladeko or who? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> is that English in Oxford Dictionary? <laughs> <laughs> No, we, I don't want to call it customated. It is the makeup. The customized. It, it is customized the makeup one. one. The makeup, the one that we have applied makeup to. Okay. Okay. Because in the actual sense in Excel, if you write a number and a test together, that thing is going to be a test. And there is no way you want to sum test. Look at the number I have in this column. Look at what I have in this column. Can you see now that there is no way I, I'm going to add it together? It's never going to add. If I decide to do some, but can you see that that the one in reward is summing? Is it not summing? You can do any type of arithmetic on it and it's going to work because it is just a format. It doesn't change what you have in the cell. It totally changes what, what you see. And what you see is not necessarily what is in the cell. Is that okay, guys? Yes. You can see now that this number is still what aligned to the right. To tell you that it is a number. It is only a custom. It is only a what um a format. We have only applied a format. So um let me just quickly talk more about it's this a format. Makeup. Yeah, it's a makeup. We have only applied the makeup. So we have our reward here. And um, if we want to show a chart in that instance for reward. Let's assume I want to show a chart for reward. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to control C and control V. And I'm going to 
to F1. remove um where are you uh, so yes you telling me microsoft excel cannot use the number format to type yes because you gave it an illegal one yeah. <laughs> i wrote <laughs> ash I'm I going to send ask. it to us. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't complain. I'm going to send us to us to I'm going to send it to us in the chat. Okay. Um I'm going to send it to us now. Hello. Just hold on one second. Um So that is okay, what I, I guess used. I didn't put I didn't I didn't put uh, invited comma B. How did they put? Yeah, you need to put that M in inverted comma in uh, quotation. Quotation. Yeah. yeah. So now I have my reward over here, and I can decide to sort it. And I can now have what? Control one. I mean, alt F one. Can you see now that I have this? And it's it's it is it makes life easy for me. Because I can decide to do like this. Uh, where are you? Mm, I will, I'm trying to do something. So I can decide to leave the work like this. I believe you guys understand what I'm trying to do now. And um, where are you? Format data series. Is rainy over here. I hope you guys can still hear me. Hey, it is raining there. Yes. Um, you know, my village is, is like uh, song is here. It's a very beautiful <laughs> village. If rain is only in the whole of Nigeria, it's the first place rain we fall. I fear me. <laughs> How did you know? That's why like, I say that uh, no, because that's where you know it's the source. So it's the first place rain is going to fall. If rain was okay, fall the, source, the, of, the source of yoga is the source <laughs> of the everything. <laughs> A lie. <laughs> so it's my village. Oh. Don't have ah, ah. don't mess with my village. Oh. Let us know what we are doing. I, so, I can't. <laughs> Uh, top five customers reward. So you can see now how this thing is very easy to read compared to when you have your actual numbers. Which one will you prefer, guys? But you must put something there that M represents 1 million. So what I can do, you understand? You can do something like this. Access and then um, you own your Hmm. What I can do? Access type two. Yes, thank you. I'm, I want to come to access type two. Thank you. You come to access type two and you just come over here and you just say reward in what? In millions. In millions. So this is easy to read. Is it not easy to read for anybody? Compared to when you have two, five, four, zero, four, it doesn't make any sense now. You always want to make life easy. That is your job. And you must do it well. In fact, you don't need any grid line. Do you know that? You know you don't need any grid line in this type of work because you don't have anything on your Y axis, no trace. Can you see how neat it is? Guys, are we still together? Am I even recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, guys, Sister, are we... was it the same chat? Was it the same chat? No, 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 no. I created another one. No, no, no. I just created another you created one. created another one. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's just to bring home a point. I, I, I had to quickly create it to, to bring home a point. 
so between these two charts, guys, which one will you prefer? Let's 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 be truthful. I'm coming. Reward field list. We don't need it over here. Compare these two together. Which one is better? Top five customers and top five customers reward. The one. So, yeah. Do you understand now? We have changed to this format, right? Yes. That is yes. exactly I'm, what I I'm want to say. Oh, okay. That is the essence of everything okay, I've, been, okay. I've been trying to demonstrate to use before since. Because you guys didn't need to say example to know that something can be better. Not just, it's not about beauty or about uh, aesthetic. You can always make things better by just um, little, little things. But I, I was looking for the perfect example. So sometimes, you know, when I tell you that grid lines, so sometimes it depends on your chart. Some chart, you remove the grid line completely. You don't need it. Like this guy. Because you already have something here. What is grid line doing? It's not doing any work. It's only adding load to the customer's brain. Is that okay, guys? So what I'm going to do is, maybe we should just remove this guy. Should we? Or we should leave it? No, no just leave it there, sir. Okay. So that you guys won't just go and be saying that this is what our guard taught us. And my fellow oh, experts will now be saying that, ah, look at what he's teaching them. Uh, <laughs> it's true uh, that. <laughs> uh, Elisa. Yeah? Sir? Sir? Elisa. Yeah, shoot, uh, I think shoot. we can change. Can you come back to that dashboard, sir? You can come back to that dashboard. I want to do something, sir. I'm coming. Yeah, this dashboard, what should I? Okay, I'm trying to say if I thought we want to remove this, uh, this chart, that top five customer, we should come down to the customer reward and add the customer names under the axis title. We should okay. edit and write the customer's name there so okay, we can yeah. remove the top five. Yeah. Yeah, we can remove this guy hmm. and we can just find another information that is uh, relevant to put here. Is that okay? Yes. Yes, so, sir. but before I do that, I do like this. So I want to quickly connect my slicers to everything we have been doing. So what I'm going to do in that instance, I'm selecting here slicer, and I'm going to come to slicer, report connections, and I'm just going to check, check, bottom five, I just check, top five customers, top five, Month sales, region pivot table. Okay. I do the same for quarter. And um, report connections. Sir. Yeah? Sir. Yeah? Please, uh, I'm experiencing a problem. I'm sorry to draw you back a bit. Now, I have created another pivot table for customers customers name and then some of rewards are you listening sir yes ma now i now wanted to format that sum of rewards just like you asked us to do but when i got to custom i couldn't see anywhere to type i don't know why it's happening this is like it now. that you are going to select it like this control one you go to custom and you just come to, by default, what you are going to see is general. Is that not so? Yes, yes. Yeah, and just come to, just, you can come to general, take your mouse there, remove everything in general, delete. And- Okay, 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 okay. I think okay, I lost, yeah, so. Is that okay? So now I've connected all my charts. Can you see how everything changes now? So you should make your chat interactive. Don't make it dry. Connected, Ike. When did you connect? 
Ah, don't worry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just so click on the. You can see on now. The slicer and go to report connection. You can see now. I click on what, please. Click on slicer and go to the okay. report connection. Okay. On on the ribbon, go to the report connection. So just click. So as I was saying, thank you, um, Ola Deko. So you can okay. see now, look at what is interesting in this work. You know, we've highlighted emo. You do the same thing for cutters too. You know, we've highlighted emo. But it's turned out that in 2014, emo is number four. When you now come to... When you come to 2015, can you see? Emo is still number two, 2015. 2016 number two, 2017 number two. 2017, but if you decide oh. to check 2014, your first quarter, you can see what has jumped. You can see now it really makes analysis easy because emo is what we are concerned about. For example, it's just an hypothesis of like how you make how you bring storytelling to your work. You know when you see a woman or a person driving a car or a woman driving a car. You don't need any additional information. You already know that this is a woman, is that she's driving a car. If she's using the glasses, you will quickly know that, oh, she's driving a car and she's using a sunshade. The information is there for you to see. And that is what we are here. Emo is there for us to quickly see because that is what is important for us in this condition. You understand? You can see. So we can also just come to quota. So it makes analysis easy and um, things can still be better, but let us just leave it like this. I want to quickly do one additional thing. You guys are going to complete the rest. So one additional thing I want to do is this. I want to add, um, is Olumiwa in class today? Yes. Olumiwa. Yeah, my class, I can hear you. Yeah, I've not heard from you today. Are we fighting? No, sir. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Very sure, sir. Uh, do let us fight, though. I beg. Okay, so um, we again. Clement, are you with us? Abdumuiz? Yeah, Clement, Clement has been here. Okay. Are you following? Are you lost? Yes or no? To a large extent, I'm with you. I'm uh, following. I, you know that your initial, uh, what do they call it in English? Initial phrase. To a large extent, <laughs> I was first of all scared that you wanted to say to a large extent, I'll be lost. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, thank God. So that you are following. Asma, is she still here? Asma, Yes, I am. Okay. Nope, there is no problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, problem. Talk to me now. Is there a problem you are facing? Look. Uh, I think my, because I was not able to attend the class yesterday and I've not been able to okay. go to what you did yesterday. So, I can't actually complain yet. Okay, but, okay. You should try and go through it. It's really because I was not yeah, really mentioning yeah. some things again, especially the shortcut or type one things like. But you are going to find it. Is is not no. It's going to be self-explanatory. But if you have problem, the group is there. You can always ask questions. You guys have not been asking asking questions in group. Okay. So I wanted to sh show us something. Now, there is something that is a, the question now is, let me go back to this. We want to know the total number of customers. How do we know it? How 
I'm not going to, I'm going to turn into assignments. But um, I'm going to turn that to assignments. But all of that things, let us quickly do. Yeah, SD. Is there, I think you joined late, but where are you? What is happening? Talk to me. Afolabi. Afolabi. Yes, so boss. I just tried joining with my phone. I can't hear you. I just try joining with my phone. I'm not even with my laptop. I'm just trying to follow my code. Um, but when you're able to implement some of the things we are learning, please, yeah, if you have a problem, let me know so that um, you understand. You can always message. I prefer the group message so that everybody is going to benefit. Thank you. I'm just following you now. Sir. Okay, so... Um, please, to... uh, on that what I'm sorry, on that what this thing did you say? I'm going to see the con uh, slicer connection. I did not see it. Just come to see your slicer. This is slicer. I'm selecting my slicer, and you are going to have slicer appearing on top. Yeah, just click on slicer yeah. and come to report connection and check the necessary boxes. So, what I, I did want... is, but I'm not seeing. So, and um, you need to have named your pivot table and not the other things like that. You need to have done it. What I'm saying is this, look up. This is your slicer. Click on slicer, report connections. These are pivot tables. Remember it was your pivot table you used to create for charts. These are charts. So, and that's all. So once anything changes in your pivot table, the chart also changes basically and that is the essence of naming our what uh our pivot table so that we know which one to check um i was about to say something so what we want to do now is i want to do something like this insert shapes i want to put some shapes here and in this place i'm going to see something like grand sales grand total sales then control C, control V. Then over here, I want to see something like um, grand total, what's it called like that? Grand total profits. Then I come over here. Are we guys together? Just as a number, grand total discount. And um, Grand total, this is all we want to achieve now. Grand total. Grand total, what is it now? Transaction, discount, transaction, like total number of transactions. So how do we achieve this? I'm going to show us very soon, very soon. So basically, it's very easy, but the thing now is, it's also a rule that we are going to go back to in Excel. And what is that rule? Yeah. Let us, first of all, make sure that we clear everything. We clear everything. So the rule is that, um, let me just, um, one to one to which so we first of all need to know what is our grant what our grant total sales so how do we do grant total sales there are several approaches one approach is just do total total sales you have something like total sales and you come here and you say that equals to sum and then you come to your main data and you sum your what your sales, your sales column. But I don't want to use that approach. Why? Because the reason I don't want to use this approach is when I filter my pivot table, I want this guy to also change. Is that okay? 
I want this guy to also what to also change. So let us make use of um which one can we make use of? Okay, let us create a new pivot table. Or we can make use of this purchasing channel. Yeah, I think it makes sense. This purchasing channel, let us just um, control C and control V. You can see that, and instead of percent, I want to see my actual sales. My actual sales, where are you? How do I see that? Summarize value. I mean, show value as no calculation. You understand? And again, I want to apply formats. The same format we use the other time. Control one, custom. I scroll down, it should be hiding somewhere. You can see I have it, okay. So this is what I have. So what do I do next? I'm going to now say that my total sales, this is total sales. I can have something also, let me shift this guy up here. For this guy, I can have discount also. Let us do discount and um, transaction. Discount, where are you? And profit. We may not necessarily use this. You can see now it doesn't work here. We need to change the format and um, we need to do something on transaction also. Transaction, where are you? I thought we have something on transaction, do we? We may need to create a, a fit for that. So let's just start with this. This guy let us change the format because it doesn't make sense now. Let's just use a basic number and um, okay, everything looks good. So we come over here, we call it total sales. And then we are going to say that equals to, we just do like that, equals to total discounts. You can see now that the actual number is what is appearing, not the, then we do equals to, that's what we need. And total profit is going to be what? Equals to, guys, are we together? Guys, are we together? Control one, no. custom. Is that a no or a yes? A no, please. Yeah, what is the problem? <laughs> On how, that total sale. How do we get it? The total sale is over here. I just did like this, equals to, can you see I press equals to, and I go to my grand total in my pivot table. Oh, okay. So the beauty of it is that, if I decide to have a slicer now, if I decide to have a slicer, let me just use a slicer to demonstrate where is yes. It's just a, and I put a, if I click on 2014, can you see now that this slicer changes and what I have here changes? If I click on 2015, what I have here also changes. Is that okay? Is that okay, guys? So what I want to do now, the main gist, what we want to do, we are going to see it very shortly. These numbers, we want to make it appear as um, inside a shape over here, like a rectangle, just the number alone, nothing more. Is that okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something. I'm going to do insert, and I'm going to put a shape. And I'm going to use, I can use an ordinary shape. It's not compulsory, I use, uh, I can use the one with a circular edge. A, is it circular edge now? Yes. Something that, uh, yeah, a rectangle. So I draw my rectangle. Can you see it? Guys, can you see my rectangle? So basically a shape a picture and all those things that are similar like that. They are not actually part of Excel. They are just tools that work with Excel. You understand? Because anything that is not a cell in Excel is not Excel. They are just things that work with Excel. Guys, do you get what I said? 
to yes. if it is not a cell let me write it out if it is not a cell in excel it is not excel to excel you learn what excel don't mind me so <laughs> so basically what is important is this first guy if it is not a cell in excel it is not excel so if something is not inside the cell in excel it's not excel those things are just external tools that has been created by microsoft to work with excel eg fiber tables eg charts eg pictures eg shapes they are not really the core of excel excel is cell you work with cell is excel the moment you start working with any other things not excel so basically you can see now that this shape you cannot give it a cell address can you Can you give this shape a cell address like A1, A2, like we always have? Does it have a cell address? No. 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 Means that, uh, the question is how do I now make a number to appear on, in front of it, inside it? So, to do that, guys, look up. I want us to pay attention. Can you see this shape? Can you that have a shape in your own work too? I want you to put a shape on your own work. Even if you don't have a dashboard, guys, do this. You start uh, a shape in your work. From my Excel, oh. hey, why now? <laughs> yes, yes, are you yes. you are a Christian now? <laughs> I can't find shape again. Titi Layo, just answer me. You are a Christian now. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, you went to church today. Oh no, I did not. That is why it is not showing. You did not pay your tithes. That's why. <laughs> you did not pay your tithes. Go and pay your tithes. Your your shape is going to show. Where when where should I put my? I like I'm in this side. I'm in. Just go and pay your tithes first. Go and pay your tithes. Your shape is going to show. Where should I go to? I mean, I can see your shape format. What? Go to your church and pay your tithes. Your shape is going to show. <laughs> page from design let me see design no, okay look up look up look up look up look up look up okay go to inserts so insert is not coming up look at look at look at what's happening okay you go to insert can you see shapes okay exactly that's that's the problem i have like normally it's not showing like the way it's supposed to show ah. it's just it has illustration Oh, okay. Is it in on illustration? Sorry. Yeah, you see. Well, you did. You still need to go and um, pay your tithes anyway. You can't thank give you, it to me. Okay. Oh, you will help me. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have some people in my area that they need money. They need food. I will help you give it to them. Okay. So, Titilayo. Have you gotten it now? You are taking off fin and tight now. Yes. No, I'm not. Point mm -hmm. of correction. I'm not taking off fin <laughs> and tight. I'm taking the money she ought to have used for tights to give to the needy in my own environment. Point of correction. I hope you will not blame for paying ten naira for fin and tights. <laughs> I don't, no, 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 no. So, guys, look up. So, we insert shapes. Guys, I want everybody to do it. We insert a shape. We insert a shape. I want us. I want to teach you how to work with shapes. How you can make a shape work with a cell in Excel. It is very simple. And you need to get it once and for all. Once and for all. Are we guys together? Are we guys together? Can I? Can I? Yes, we're together. Yes. You can go on, sir. Yes, we are together. Are you selecting your shape? Is it selected? Your shape should be selected. You should have white, white circle at the edges. So if your shape is selected, the next thing you do, Zainab, are you still with me? I'm here, but you're too fast. Ah, Zainab. Zainab. 
Okay. Oh. Where the, where were you lost? I you are not lost anyway. I'm sure. No, that. no, no. Just no. I though I it's just that there are some parts I didn't get well, but I don't want to draw you back. Go well, continue. And where you are now. Okay. Have you inserted the ship? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. So you should select your shape. You should have white, white circle. Have you done that? Yes, sir. Others, Ibrahim Ramon, have you done that? <laughs> Olumi, why have you done it? I think Olumi, why is not with us again? <laughs> so now, if you have done that, what you just do next is you go to your formula bar, you press equals to. Can you see that I press equals to? Guys, have you seen equals to? So after pressing equals to, I go to my sheet where I have what I want to show, which is this sheet. And I'm going to select. Make sure you are not selecting it from the pivot table. Select it from your cell and you click on 2.30 million and enter. Can you see now that the 2.30 million is appearing on your ship? And in that case, I can decide to make it bigger. I can do anything I want to do with it in terms of format. You understand? Can you see how I'm making it bigger? And um, I can decide to come to shape format. I want, I can make it um, white, the color, the color of this um, home instead and the color of this number i want it to be white is that okay ah it didn't do what did you what what did you do <laughs> the people did not enter the shape do, 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 do you have your numbers separately not in, on your pivot table separately uh, the... Okay. You need to have your number separately, not inside no. the pivot table. You are not selecting pivot table now. Yes, like okay. You need to have your number separately. So I have my discount now, and I can decide to do something like this. Insert again. Insert a shape. And um, some people are disturbing us in background. <laughs> Yes. Insert shape again. And in this instance, I can do something like this. It's, this is just design. This is not Excel. It's just design. It's just simple design I want to do. So I want to put this guy on top of this guy. But it's not appearing, so I need to tell Excel to bring it up. I need to send it forward. And I need to click bring forward. And after doing that, I can decide to put reward now. I can decide to make this a little bit um, smaller. This is just design, it's not um, data analysis, but design is also always good. I can decide to make the this guy to be the line, the line shape outline. I can make the color to be white or yes, I think I can use white. And um, what do I do next? I need to tell people that this is what? This is, um, what's it called? Total sales. So what do I do? I can put another shape and just write total sales. But this shape I'm using in this case, I need to give it a color that is exactly this color so that it will not show. So it's just design. Shape view, I think is this color. Where are you? Mm, da -da -da -da. Shape fill, no fill. Yes, I think no fill is going to be better. Yes, no fill, shape outline, no outline. And um, we can increase the size. 
you understand now, guys, what I'm trying to achieve. You know, anybody seen this work? We don't know what is happening. They just see everything smooth and clean. Is that okay? And when I click on 2014 now, 2015, um, I think uh, 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 this slice size is not connected to this. Uh, you can see the, okay, I think it's changing. I thought it's not changing before. 2015, no, it's not changing. This year slicer is not working on this guy. So we already know how to fix that. This is the slicer. It still work with cutters. Yes, it's worked with cutters. We just need to with cutters, fix yes. yes. We can call it channel PT. And uh, so once something is not working for your slicer, you, you can quickly know. Always cross-check, report connections, channel PT. OK, so I can. So if I click on 2014 alone, yes, it works now. Can you see what we are doing now? Is that OK? Guys, is that OK? Yes, sir. So what we are going to do is now is we just, everything like this, we can decide to copy. We copy. So how do you copy? I copied in a very smart way, not Control-C and Control-V. Did someone see that? I selected everything I want to copy and I hold down my control and I drag. So it automatically copies. So in this case now, we want to repeat the same process, but not this time is not for the total sales, but for what? Total profits. And um, this guy again, I select it, this shape. I'm going to remove the formula that I have there. Guys, are we together? I remove the formula I have there. And um, I go back to my previous sheets and I'm going to call it, I'm going to equate it to this guy and I have it, it's appearing. So the next thing is just to increase the size again, change the color, everything looks good, we are happy. So you guys can also do your own to be more nice. We are only just adding some basic aesthetic. Aesthetic too is important, even though it's not the core of your work. The core of your work is that you want to present data in a, in a meaningful way, simple way to your audience. So you can see now, I can repeat the same process again now. And um, we can shift this guy. You can see now. So we can repeat this same thing two times. For what? For number of transactions and for what? Um, what's it called? For number of transactions and um, I mentioned two other things the other time. Number of customers. Is that okay, guys? So this is, we can begin to just adjust this guy and make it because we still need to put something on top. So you can adjust this guy if need be. You can see now it's design. Design is iteration. You don't do it once and sit down. You just continue to look at how can you make it better. So this is still Excel we are working with. We are not working with any other two. Is that OK? You can decide to change the shape if you want. If you want to change shape easily without deleting, this is the shape. I select it. I come to shape format. Can you see edit shape and change shape? And I can decide to change it to something else. 
You understand? This is shape format. You select the shape first, shape format, edit shape. You can decide to change it to anything you want. You understand, guys? So it's just basic design. Basic design. I think I use this guy, yes. Guys, are we together? Oh, we are too lost. Which of them? Which of it? Which of? Uh, together, sir. You. you are the only one answering now. Is it that others to we are not together? To go to go to what do you say? Yeah, yeah. To go to go to yeah, it's just. Oh, they are calling over there. So the, cl yes. the class will soon be over in about five minutes. Now. I'll meet, I'll, I will check the recording one. Yeah. So now, Thank you, sir. You can see now, we can do it. So the last thing we can do is we can also insert another shape. Another long shape. Which is the final thing. Be preparing your question. So for insert shape, you just do insert shape again. And then you can insert. You can start the text box if you want. Let's do text box. because it's going to occupy everywhere on top like this. And we can type what we want. Uh, let me just use two people's name in this class. Whose name should I use now? Let me use, whose name should I use? Temi Tokpe. Remind me of your, of your son. Temi Tokpe. Aguda. Aguda. Let us, whose other name should we use? Uh, let me check, whose name should we use? Okay, Temi Tokwa Aguda, let me use Zainal's name. Zainal Atitabi. Supermarket Limited Nigeria. Supermarket, I do mind you. Supermarket Nigeria Limited. Sales dash board. And um, we can decide to now, um, what's it called? You now begin to format it to make it look good again. You align to the center, you increase your test size. Are we seeing what is happening? We change the color of the background, shape format, shape feel. We can use a blue again. We can use a deeper blue color because we don't want to use too many color. Then we can use shape outline, no outline. And then we come to the color of our test and change it to white or something that contrasts. Should we use yellow? No, let us, I think white looks good. White looks good. So you can decide to insert icon. You come to icon. This connects you to the internet. And then we can find icon. It's just design now. This is not really analysis. You understand? You can search for icon that relates to sales. I think this guy is using internet, yes. Sales. Mm, what's this showing? Okay, let's just put money. We just need icon for money. Are we guys still together? Yes, so we use um, which of them? Which one can we use? Um, I think we should use this guy inside. This pounds. Use the pounds. Uh, I think, uh, okay, you said we should use something. So guys, do you understand what I'm trying to show us? So we can use that. So if you have question, we have money. Let's use money. It's just an icon that quickly tells us, which one did you say I should use? Uh, uh, pounds. Oh, it's okay. I think I like the cashier thing that you use. Yeah, we can use this. Okay, we can use this also. So you can just put it. If your company has a logo, you can decide to use their logo too. You understand? We just put it somewhere nice. You can put it somewhere here. It's just 
we are not really graphic designer, but at the end of the day, you must make your work to, to at least some aesthetic. It should have it. Aesthetic is not the core of your work, remember. But how you present something matters. It's just like when you finish cooking food. You know, you want to present it in a nice way so that it's going to be appreciated. Even though that you have a nice presentation does not mean that the food is going to be sweet. Is that not so? But presentation what? It matters. So how can you have a good food presented in a bad way? Is that going to be good? So you use it to bring out your work. So this dashboard is not complete yet though. You know that we still need to put some, this guy, two of them up here. We still have to put a shape here. And everything looks good, basically. You understand? So you can see how everything changes. It's interactive. And um, is that okay, guys? Guys, is that okay? Are we, do, have we learned something? Yes. No, you know, it's really surprising that we started Pivot Table and we are still in the third class. We started Pivot Table and charts from um, Wednesday class. We did it yesterday. We did it today and we have not been able to complete it. You understand? So what we I'm going to do is I'm going to send the data to us, not this data. We are going to come up with our own dashboard and that is going to be our first project. So you are going to have a week for submission. So I give I, the, the, the data I'm going to send it by tomorrow latest. We just need to create a simple dashboard basically. So you have a week, it's like an assignment, stroke projects, but it's, it's a project that is quality enough for you to showcase as this is what I'll be able to do in this class by the second week. Are you guys with me? Yeah. Or do we have any objection to that? Do we have any objection? Yes, we are going to do it. I like that. So Remember, we already know what the dashboard means. We already know those things that are missing. So that some people will not submit something like this to me and tell me that it is a dashboard. You have not completed your work. Oh. You understand what I mean? You have not completed your work. So we still have things up here we should fill up. We still have this extra space. It should not be there. We should, have, we should put something there. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So everything looks good now. We are happy. Everybody is happy. <laughs> so um, that's all about this class. In my next class, I'm going to be showing us some more interesting things in Excel that we can work with. But we will not be working on dashboard again. It's for you guys to work on. So I'm going to send the data to us. If you have questions, please ask. Because our time is over. But ask your question. Guys, ask your question. No question. Is that the assumption? Can I have a question, please? Yeah. My question is this. Um, Zainab, we can't hear you again. Zainab. <laughs> Zainab. Hello, Zainab. Zainab. Hello. Yeah, I can't hear you again. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I said, please, can you go back to that five words table sheet? That's no. where I want to, that's where my question is actually. Please quickly ask Okay, um, thank you, sir. My, yeah. yes, um, my first question is this. Um, this table, that yes. channel table yeah. and sales table, did you replicate it or you created another 
I created another I one. I created another one because the previous okay. one was showing percentage and I needed my actual sales. Okay. Remember the reason I use channel? I'm not into it's not compulsory to use channel. Remember, with the, irrespective of the category you use, your grand total is going to be the same. And that is what I'm making use over here. I am making use of my grand total. So whether you use region, you use states, it doesn't matter. I, I was only looking for a pivot table that I can pick the information from. You understand? OK. And uh, remember, I this, remember, uh, remember this, remember um, this, sorry, you remember the pivot table is also connected to the slicer. So it makes everything changes yes. as I'm clicking on that slicer. If I have used, remember I could have said equals to sum and um, come to my um, main data, where is the data and select my, we could have done this, where is sales and enter. You can see now that I have my total here also. Yes. Which is correct. It's not that it's not correct, except that um, we can't filter. We can't apply slicer to it directly. You understand? Can you see now that yes. it's correct? Yeah, please, you, you, yeah, continue. Sorry for cutting you. Uh, no, at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why I said so is because after creating that second one, and I tried grouping that, uh, grouping it to internet, then I noticed the other one was changing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We, we, we are not really concerned with grouping, but it was because, okay, 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 okay. I think I copied it and edited. I didn't create a new one. I copied this guy, I pasted here, and I just edited it to sales, should not show percentage. So it doesn't really matter, but it's, it doesn't And really... it was affecting my chat too. Just like when I recreated that uh, top five customers, and I put a reward instead of sum of sales. It was affecting my charts. So that's why I'm a bit confused. I'm confused ah, sorry, that can you come again with your question? I didn't, I'm, I don't understand, sorry. Okay, I said, I said, if I create a chart similar to a previous one that I have created, the two is always um, affecting each other, kind of, when I'm working on one. I don't know if it chats, is only chats, on my own chat. Chat, 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 I mean pivot table. Pivot table. How is it? If I create a pivot table, okay, and create another pivot table that is similar to it, but maybe I'm changing something there. Are you listening? So okay. if I've used the previous um, pivot table to create a chart which is on my dashboard, okay. anytime I'm working on the new pivot table, it used to affect the charts. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. Maybe I will, I will message you later so that yeah. I won't. But what I just want to say is that, that each chart is connected to a pivot table, basically. So you can't have two pivot tables connected to a chart, but you can create multiple charts from a pivot table. Like I can create a pivot table, a, a chart from here, from this pivot table. This same pivot table, I can create another pivot, another chart, another chart. You understand? So if I slice, if I apply a slicer to this pivot table, it's going to affect the chart, basically. So that is what you should just understand. But again, you can message me. Let me know if you have a problem with that. Okay, guys, any other okay, question? Temitokwe, Clement, Ibrahim, SD, question, question, question. Uh, what, uh, Clement, yes. Yeah, my my is an appeal. I was just going to. I don't know. Okay. These um sheet. Okay. The sheet you use in doing these um analysis and uh, computation. Is it possible for us to assess it so that uh, we can uh, okay, use you want it? To... Don't worry. Um, I should I do I ah. Uh, uh, I okay. Let me check. Basically, I used to, you know, the classes, the best thing is the video, basically, because I do a lot of things. Sometimes I remove. Like this now, what I did there is not showing again. You understand? Sometimes I remove, I delete. Sometimes I quickly show you things, but if you want it, I can send. I think, should I send it? Yeah, I can give it to you if you want. 
there is no problem. But you know, it's a shortcut for you. Okay. The best okay. is you okay. actually do. The class is meant to be you. You are meant to be doing it with me. Or you may be lagging behind, but not that you don't do anything. But um, I've not made a decision about that. I'll get back to you if I will send. But uh, <laughs> if I will send. No, no, no problem. What I'm asking is that that uh, yesterday class that I missed. Yeah, I followed the video to a large extent, like I said. I went, I got to, but if I've had the, the data, there are one or two things I would have just sorted that isn't. Don't you have this data that we are I using? Clements? You know, you... along the line, when you are working on, yes, I, I do, but I'm saying working on. Uh, along the line, if we can, when we are doing our own practice on our own, we can make some references to yours, you know, along the line. So it will, it's, it's helping me. It will help me. Okay. I will, I can send the work. I can, I may send, let me just, I'm doing make a promise. It. I will think about it and give it to you. Okay, thank you. I will think about it and make a decision, you know. Yeah. So, okay, thank you all. If you have any other question, let's meet in the chat. Let's meet in the chat. If you are listening to this video, thank you for staying behind to listen to everything we've been doing. And um, if you have any other question, you can let me know in the chat. Guys, it was a beautiful evening with us. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah.